Meanwhile, cleanup is underway in one Bel Air neighborhood tonight after a fire caused significant damage to the home. And the state fire marshal's office says one of the homeowner's cars sparked the fire. WJZ is on your corner live in Bel Air. Dennis Valera talked to neighbors who saw the fire firsthand. Dennis. Nikki, for the neighborhood, yesterday was a first. Neighbors using words like horrendous, terrified to describe the fire that they saw. Now, the homeowners are staying with their daughter at the moment, but their neighbors are also working to help them out. Workers busy boarding up and assessing the damage at this home along Adelaide Lane. The garage and part of the roof, essentially a shell after a fire ripped through Tuesday. So last night I was cooking dinner and I heard a loud explosion. Many neighbors have lived here for decades, never seeing something like this happen. My son uh, came inside and said that the neighbor's house was on fire. At that point there was fire shooting out the top um, roof vents. The state fire marshal's office says the fire started in the garage and spread to the home's attic. Crews were called in just before 5 p.m. It just went up so quick. The whole house, the whole front of the house was on fire. The side was on fire. The the siding was all melted. The roof it was coming out the roof. Investigators determined one of the homeowner's cars had a mechanical failure. The fire destroyed that and another car in the garage. The owner had just recently parked his car inside the garage. Uh, our investigators uh, have determined that. The uh, Acura inside the house actually caused the fire. The fire marshal estimates around $500,000 in damage. Neighbors already are rallying to help, getting some gift cards to give to these homeowners. We're a small community here. Over 45 firefighters responded to this fire. It was brought under control within a half hour. Reporting live in Bel Air, I'm Dennis Flair for WJZ.